Good day. Welcome to my first Blender tutorial. This tutorial and any of it follow will be done in Blender 2.6. Today I'm going to be covering a tutorial on pipe joints. This tutorial can be found on Wikibooks under the heading of Blender Noob to Pro. A quick Google search for Blender Noob to Pro should take you there pretty quickly. If you can't find it, click on the link on the screen. Alternatively, there's a link in the description below. I've broken the lessons up into four short lessons for each of the individual pipes. The first lesson is going to be covering the T-joint. So click on one of the links and open up Wikibooks. So here we are at Wikibooks. See, Blender Noob to Pro. This lesson is about halfway through the book. Scroll down through the contents and find pipe joints and click on it. These lessons were made for version 2.4 but the first two lessons can be pretty much followed exact. It's not until you get to the third or mainly the fourth lesson where you're going to have problems with 2.6. There it is, so click on that. And here we are. So to fill the four pipe joints that we're going to be doing is the T-joint. There's the T-joint. Three-way joint. Well, actually, it's a six-way joint. There's the six-way joint. The three-way joint. And the T-joint with a smaller diameter. There's the T-joint with smaller diameter. Alright, so we're ready to go. Open up Blender. Make sure you're in top view. You can see what view you're in at the top left-hand corner of the screen. Delete the default cube. Mine's already deleted as it's set in my user preferences that way. Shift A. Add a cylinder. Make it 16 vertices. A depth of 4. And untick cap ends. And you should have something that looks like this. Well, actually it should look exactly like that. If yours looks different, you're yeah, probably going to have to do it again. On the left hand side you have your mesh tools, so tab into edit mode and go to the left hand side and click on loop cut slide. We're going to place a loop cut in the middle of the cylinder. So move your mouse around until the line comes up through the center of the cylinder horizontally. If you accidentally move it, right click, it will return to center. Otherwise you can just click once to set a horizontal cut and click again to set it in the center. Now go to one of the side views and select the seven vertices in the front. Make sure the back vertices haven't been selected. And we're going to scale these to the square root of 2, which is 1.4142. Now, mine appear to be scaling funny. If you find yours aren't scaling in the manner that the picture shows, it's because you have your pivot point in the wrong place. Here we go again, pivot point still in the wrong place. So I need to place that pivot point on the 3D cursor. So down the bottom of the screen you'll find the pivot point button. Go up to pivot 
to cursor at the moment it was set to median and try scaling it again okay that looks pretty good but just to be safe might want to check it against the picture in the book so let's have a look at that yep they look pretty good by rights they should look exactly the same if you've done it right okay next we need to rip those seven vertices so that we end up with 14 vertices type in rip press spacebar and type in rip and it'll bring up what you can do as you can see the shortcut for rip is V now this seems to be cursor sensitive if I press V on this side it just rips the side out of my cylinder which isn't what I want if I click it over here it works fine that's what I want to rip if I click it here well I actually forgot to undo my last rip so that doesn't count basically if I click it anywhere on the right hand side of my cursor it should work fine but if I click it anywhere on the left hand side of my cursor it's just going to rip that side out so best to be safe place your cursor right in front and rip now we've got the top vertices selected so we want to do R for rotate and minus 4 5 now select the seven vertices on the bottom and do R for rotate 45 next you want to select all 16 vertices and extrude them along the X axis 3 so it's E X 3 